Hello and welcome to an ION Communications Facilities Tour. Here are our main radios. We are uh, currently on the rooftop of Data 102, where our main data center is. Uh, and you can see the majority of the radios we have up here, sort of in one place. We're doing our first uh, maintenance, our first big maintenance in two years, where we're shutting down our main radio tower and we're turning on four others, four new ones, so we have room to expand. You can see me in the blue hat sitting there in the background. I would wave, but I'm trying to keep your shot steady so that you can enjoy this tour. Uh, I'll be doing a quick flyover of some of our main setups here while Matt and John do a switchover of our equipment. Uh, the first thing I wanna show you is our main tower. This was our first tower that we set up two years ago now, and it has been serving clients all over downtown for uh, those two years. It serves people in the Gazette building, it serves restaurants up and down Tejon. The first location that it serves that I'll show you is the rooftop right here on Busy Corner. If you look, you can see a little white cone on a stand, just like those ones you just saw on the roof. There you go, right here. So this provides gigabit internet, both upload and download, to clients in this building. And it's just one of many we have all over downtown. You can see it's a pretty easy setup. It's a fairly, fairly simple stand setup and a single wire and power and ethernet. And then we can provide, from that single fixed wireless point, we can provide internet access to the entire building. So that's pretty cool. I'll show you another building we have a very similar setup on. Over here, oh, you can see another cone on top of the Gazette building right here. We won't be visiting that one closely, but you can see it. And then over here, on top of the JP Tejon building, we have uh, several access points. So this uh, right here is the second cone that we set up on the roof here. Over here you can see the very first cone that we set up uh, ever for ION. It's been up there for several years now and uh, it's yellowed a little bit, uh, but still serving customers just great. You can see the setup was not quite as clean back in those days since that was our very first customer. We've got a couple more cones. Let's go hop over to those. This services uh, Fixer Creative and quite a few other people here in the Kiowa building. Uh, you can see we have one dedicated cone for a client that actually wants a dedicated hotspot just for their facility. And then uh, ooh, some birds that are uh, noticing the drone. And then there's another cone for the rest of the clients in the building. Let's hop over here to Acacia Park. The best part about having a fixed wireless setup is that we can point from the top of the Alamo building essentially to any part of town. So you can see that red building with the gray box on top, that's where we flew from. And if you can see the top of that building, it's likely that we can service your business. Uh, or if the top, the roof of your building can see that in some cases, even if it can't. So Art 111 is a great example. Uh, that red building right in the middle of the frame right now has our internet, and so does Story Coffee, which is this little tiny house coffee shop. And though they are both not directly line of sight to our facility, uh, we can get enough reception to them for them to have some really impressive, reliable internet. We serve several other restaurants along Tejon. You can see it's all beautiful. It's greened up here as spring is uh, springing. <laughs> and that is a little bit of an overview of how ION, two years into our business, is running here in Colorado Springs. We love this community and we love being able to serve it the way we do. Uh, we're quite proud of what we've been able to set up here. 
the switchover has begun. We have dropped down from 70 active core devices to seven active core devices. Wow, this is the first time our network has been offline in two years. Uh, no one's at work though. It's a Saturday, it's Memorial Day weekend, it's 6 p.m. We warned everyone a week ago and we set up uh, radio backups, uh, cell phone Nine backups. Is up. Bento Haven is up right now. Interesting. Our core routers, yeah, okay, everything is up that needs to be up right All now. the failovers went over fine? Yes. Awesome. Thank you for the update, Matt. This has been a live update of our tower maintenance. You can see Matt and I hanging out here on the roof. That radio uh, tower right behind Matt as well is also ours. Uh, so we have several, several radios up here. Bye, Matt. <laughs> All right. That concludes the ION facilities tour. I'm sure uh, we'll get another one made for you here in a couple years the next time we have an update. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next one. Wave, Matt! <laughs> Bye. Whoa. This has been the ION facilities tour. I hope you enjoyed every minute of it. It was quite fun, wasn't it? We're just getting started here in Colorado Springs. It's our vision to make sure Colorado Springs is the most connected, most secure, most reliable hub for internet access in Colorado. So far, so good. Thanks for tuning in and learning a little bit more about it. You check out the rest of our website for more information. Everything is offline. Wow. New concept. Uh, cool. Ivy Wild. Uh, uh, Ohana Kaba. Uh, wow. Screenshot that. Definitely screenshot. Yeah, that's beautiful. Uh, those are not on my connections. Uh, right. Next to us is on their Comcast backup. Oh, wow. For Ravens. They have a Comcast backup they failed over to. I'm surprised it's still on because mm -hmm. Judy's paid for it, apparently. <laughs> Anger. So it's, a li it's a little. place is a little weird right now. Um, Bento Haven up, Hunan up. I'm getting all these. Wow, that's so cool. But everything else? You would be terrified if you saw this any other time. Yeah. yeah.